Hey guys, Jimmy Gavallis, The Kitchen Cabinet Guy. In this episode, we're gonna explore cutting costs. Keep in mind that the renovation of a kitchen is an investment in your home. Not only for you to be able to enjoy the kitchen, you recoup a good chunk of that money back. So it's an investment in your home. It's not cheap to renovate a kitchen. I don't know much about the labor end costs because I'm a wholesale supplier of cabinets. So you come to me, I design the kitchen, and I, and I, and I, and I produce the cabinets for you. Uh, but there's a lot more that goes into it. Not only for contractors, but for suppliers too. You shouldn't get just one price. You should get three prices at least, I think, for everything you're gonna shop for. Appliances, eh, maybe you don't have to do that because appliances tend to be very equal uh, among, amongst different vendors. But cabinets, when you go into a cabinet place and you find a specific type of brand of cabinets that you like, you should quote that in two or three places. You should. Um, you'll find that prices are all over the place. It's the same thing for, with contractors. What you're hoping though, is when you get three prices, is you're hoping that two of them are in the same ballpark. That sort of would make me feel a little more comfortable that, okay, you know what? The numbers should be in here somewhere rather than a guy who's really high or a guy who's really low. I understand that the cost of renovating the kitchen is very expensive. I get it. And we all should try to cut costs, but be careful where you cut those costs. The horror stories of hiring bad contractors or purchasing bad product, I, I have to get two or three a week where people call me up and they say, oh, help me out, my contractor left me or my, the cabinets I bought are not good. So you have to be very careful on the way you're gonna cut costs. Here are four areas that I think where you can control costs a little bit. Number one, cabinetry. The best way to try to cut costs with cabinetry is to have an apples to apples comparison. Have an apples to apples comparison requires you to know the brand of the cabinets, the door style, the color, and then having a plan that you can use as a basis to be able to compare from dealer to dealer to dealer. Now be careful. As I said in a previous episode about contractors, don't always go for the lowest bid. The lowest bid might be the best contractor or the best cabinet supplier. It could happen, but don't always go for that. You have to be very, very careful. You have to trust the supplier. Presenting a price to you and then generating the order for you are two different things. So be very careful. Make sure you trust the supplier or the contractor that you're going to use. Number two, countertops. Most folks today do a stone countertop, some sort of stone, whether it's granite or quartz. Quartz is very popular today. So within these families of stones, both granite and quartz, there are colors that are more price sensitive. Take a look at those colors and try to fit them into your design. That can help you save some money as well. Number three, appliances. I said earlier in the video that appliances tend to be the same price throughout vendors. It's not price fixing, but there's not much margin in, in appliances. But what you can do with appliances is instead of going for a specific brand, you may be able to go to a brand that's a little more price sensitive and achieve both the look and the function you want out of that appliance. So you should consider appliances as an option where you can cut costs as well. Number four, the contractor. Contractor pricing can be all over the map. Not because a guy's trying to rip you off or a guy doesn't know what he's doing and he becomes the lowest bidder. Each guy just has his own way of working up a price. I mean, it's it's that simple. Um, maybe sometimes a guy's trying to go for a score because you're rec he's recommended to you, but more than likely it's just each guy trying to manage his own business in the way he, he or she feels fit um, and they have their margins that they want to achieve. So you should get three prices for, from a contractor. Don't let price be the determinant factor, but maybe you'll get lucky and the lowest bidder is the guy you feel most comfortable with. I hope these four areas help you cut costs in your, in your renovation. Good luck with your project.